Coming up next on Nightly News. The latest construction news. Also, we'll talk to a talented VHS player. You're watching Nightly News. Nightly News, broadcasting what matters, live, <laughs> with Jesse McLean and Layla Abdelaziz, also featuring Samantha Doucette, executive producer Kayla Kramer, associate producer and floor director Heather Lauder, technical producer Zach Peed, Voice work by Tori Petri. And the rest of the Nightly News broadcast team, bringing you the news live. Stand by and three, two, one, cue the anchors. Good morning, Vanguard, and thanks for watching Nightly News. Today is February 5th, 2008. I'm Layla Abdelaziz. And I'm Jesse McLean. <clears throat> Winter break has come and gone, and the round building is under mass construction. Nightly News reporter Chris Hamill has more. With 40 years of use, Vanguard High School has seen its wear and tear. Now it's undergoing its well-deserved renovation. We started working on it, and there was a, um, a review process that started back in April of 2004. We actually started breaking ground in February of 2007. The round building is being renovated right now. Um, the round building is 86,000 square feet, so it's quite, a, quite the task. It took them six days to move um, six, 10 to 12 hour days to move us completely out of the round building. At which point they started demolishing almost right away. The upstairs right now is completely what they call demoed. Um, the door jams are gone, a lot of the walls are gone, the lockers are gone, the, the windows are starting to come out now. Um, the ceiling is completely gone, all the lighting is gone. Um, they are currently putting in the new air conditioning ducts, the new chiller lines for the air conditioning system and heating system upstairs. The, the old cafeteria and the old kitchen will now be a student services area. Two weeks ago when I was up there, um, I went on a little tour and they were pulling out the old air conditioning duct. And there was a duct up there about the size of a truck just up, up top of the stairwell near the, the media center. And they were tugging and pulling on it. They were standing on some scaffolding and all of a sudden it all broke loose and hit the floor and the whole building just rattled. It was, it was quite impressive. January 3rd, Vanguard High School students returned to the construction site to find two new buildings and a new cafeteria. The addition of three new buildings and the renovation of the round building isn't the only thing that's planned for Vanguard High School. Building four is what we call the square building is going to get pretty much a similar renovation. It's not quite as extensive, but it's going to be brand new air conditioning system, brand new doors, brand new windows, paint jobs, some flooring. Um, the gymnasium, the outer buildings around the gymnasium as well. And we're finally going to get air conditioning in the gymnasium itself. So we're real excited about that. Building eight, which is a vocational building, very similar to um, building four. Uh, new doors, new flooring, new lighting, uh, some electrical work down there as well. Reporting for WVHS, this is Christopher Hamm. Thanks, Chris. Our fellow student, Danny Walrath, tragically passed away this weekend from a car accident. To help out the Walrath family with funeral arrangements, Sandra Bedgood will be selling shirts from 7 to 9.15 tomorrow morning for $5 in front of Mrs. Wade's room, Building 4, Room 6. Shirts will be delivered on Thursday or Friday morning at the same location. Donations are greatly appreciated. Pink ladies, there will be a mandatory meeting this Thursday, either 8.30 a.m. or 3.30 p.m. Mrs. Lepart has many scholarships still available for all students. See her in Building 3, Room 6 to pick up scholarship information. Deadlines are quickly approaching, so don't hesitate. Stay tuned after the commercial break for more. You're watching Nightly News. Nightly News will be right back. Come to Vanguard High School in Universal Studios Islands of Adventure. April 25th and 26th, Crab Bash with Rihanna and Hello Goodbye. Your money is due February 29th. Don't you hate it when you're hungry in the mornings before school? Well, on Fridays from 8 to 9.15, there will be bagels fresh from Panera sold in the courtyard in front of the cafeteria. 
sponsored by the FFEA. They're only $1.50 and come with cream cheese. Come choose from wide selection, blueberry, asiago, cinnamon crunch, dutch apple, raisin, french toast, and more. Featuring banana, walnut, and mocha chip swirl for the month of February. That is no way to get out information. Buy a WVHS commercial spot to be shown on IE News. Each spot is 15 to 20 seconds long and will be shown for two weeks for only five bucks. So what are you waiting for? FCA is a fellowship for Christian athletes. It's really encouraging and just to hang out with people that you have stuff in common with. Have um, little devotions and basically fellowship together. We meet every Wednesday, um, either 8.30 in the morning or 3.30 in the afternoon, whichever is best for you. If you're having trouble in math, the Moe Alpha Theta Club is going to be holding math tutoring sessions Tuesday through Thursdays from 8.30 to 9 a.m. and 3.15 to 4 p.m. See Mr. Knighton for more details. We're Skangard students that care about the environment. We get together every Monday after school and collect all the plastic bottles from the awesome trash cans around the school. Um, I like being at Eco Nights because I feel like I'm doing something for the environment because it's our future and it's something that's really important to me. wants a way to remember their high school clubs, sports, friends, and memories. But there's got to be an easier way, right? Well, get a Vanguard yearbook. For a limited time, the price is only $70. So hurry and see Miss Stouse in Building 2, Room 4. Welcome back. This past Friday, the VHS players went to districts and performed very well. With us today is Jonathan Williams to tell us all the details. Good morning. Good morning. With the many awards that you and the rest of the VHS players received, how do you think your state performance will turn out? After seeing all of our performances at district competitions, we earned over nine superiors in different categories, and I am very um, I'm, I'm very excited to see exactly how everybody will do it. I understand you received the Best Actor Award. How do you feel about that? I, uh, I'm very well about it. Uh, I've seen plenty of people do it in the past and it's, uh, it's exciting and it's liberating to, to do it for myself. So I'm very excited. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations to all the VHS players for all your hard work. This past Saturday, the wrestling team competed in the district tournament at Bellevue. The Knights came into fifth place, and seven wrestlers will move on to the regional wrestling tournament on Friday and Saturday at Fleming Island. Good luck, Knights. Workouts for the weightlifting and football team have begun after school at 3.30. See Coach Budnick or Coach Brown with any questions. There will be a FCA leadership team meeting tomorrow at 8.45 a.m. in Coach Brown's room. There will be a campus huddle meeting next Tuesday after school in the Fieldhouse. For all debate club members, there will be a mandatory meeting this Thursday morning at 8.30 a.m. in Dr. Cruz's room, Building 4, Room 12. Please plan to attend. Mu Alpha Theta members, there is a mandatory meeting today after school in Mr. Knighton's room, Portable 71 of the North Village. Students who are participating in reading counts are encouraged to have at least five quizzes completed by the end of the third nine weeks on March 23rd. That does it for Nightly News. We'll see you right back here on February 7, 2008. I'm Leila Abdelaziz. And I'm Jesse McLean. Have a great day. This program has been made possible by Fort Longyear Environmental and Infrastructure. Thanks for your support.